from touting the diet's success to showing off some homemade meals. So what is it about this diet? Why do some dietitians think it's a bad recipe for good health? Here's a look. Melissa Juwan will openly tell you she has had a troubled relationship with food. My family is a family of cooks, and I love to cook, and I love to eat, and for the better part of my life, food was the enemy. Diets never seem to work long term. I may have been on Weight Watchers, I'd been on The Zone, they'd all worked for a while, and then I just kind of stalled out. Same story for Judy Stone. She, too, found only temporary success. The previous diet was similar to a bodybuilder sort of diet. It was eating six times a day, it was very low carbohydrate, very low fat, lots of protein, and lots of low-calorie products, um, artificial sweetener. That is, until the paleo diet entered their lives. Paleo stemming from the word paleolithic based on the premise if caveman didn't eat it, you shouldn't either. And it's um, sort of helped me to become a normal person again. I'm a lot happier. Happier and lighter. She's down 88 pounds. Removed the grains and the artificial sweeteners and dairy. The digestive issues cleared up. My energy levels improved. My skin cleared up. Everything. I slept better. And like many with Paleo Pride, Judy shares her success in the blogosphere, hoping others will join her. In fact, it's the blogosphere where these two became friends across the pond. Melissa's blog. I've eaten this way for three years and feel better than I ever have. It took the crazy out of the space between my fingers. And put the focus back. She sat down and wrote a cookbook, well fed, to share with the world. Flip to the pages and you will see amazing meals that will feed you well, including paleo pad thai made with spaghetti squash, not Asian noodles, paleo chili full of flavor, even chocolate, but no beans, full fat tuna salad with homemade mayo and more, all including vegetables, fruits, berries, fish, and grass-fed animal protein. What you won't find in these recipes? Dairy, legumes, including soybeans and chickpeas, beans, and even peanuts sugar and no grains yep no rice you heard me no rice forget the fact that you just may have switched from white rice to brown thinking you were being healthy dr lane Seabrig says the rules have just changed it is a grain and all grains are not food okay grains are not food for virtually anything on the planet <laughs> Grains bind up our digestive enzymes. Tell me why billions of people on the planet today and throughout the last six, 10,000 years have had rice as a staple. What does a staple mean, especially if you're in a third world country? The movement has dietitian Deidre Earls up in arms. Hi. Dr. Sebring made paleo the foundation of his clinic more than 10 years ago, and he says it's working. I've been treating my patients with the concept that we're not supposed to get sick. We're supposed to be healthy like wild animals. Earl says the entire diet is misleading. The paleo diet has a name that implies that it's been around a long time, but it was created by one person. Like Atkins was created by one person. She says it's all money driven and only popular because it resembles the Atkins diet. But one look at these before and after photos full of paleo pride, it's tough convincing anyone that paleo doesn't stand for perfect. I'm happy to eat this way forever because it really is, it's improved so many parts of my life, so I'm good with it. Try it. You, you cannot do damage in 30 days that you can't undo. Okay, so joining us live to debate the issue again is dietitian Deidre Earls and Dr. Lane Sebring. Both of you had so much to say when I interviewed both of you that we couldn't get into the entire story, so we want to have you back. Deidre, I'll start with you. What is your complaint? You don't like that there's no beans and no, no rice? Why not? Uh, well, a couple of things. Again, rice and beans are a staple for billions of very lean people in Asia, India, Africa. This has been their staple for thousands of years. The reason that paleo is popular is because it leads to quick weight loss. Quick weight loss is not equivalent to health. Atkins himself had a heart attack in his 60s not his 90s. He didn't even live to be as long as the average American, and we rank 42nd in the world for longevity. So, so it's, you know, it's common sense. And then also the paleo, it's, it's not that human beings haven't had meat. They have had meat for a long time. But the amount of meat that goes into the paleo diet 
is not only contradicted by the common sense of billions of people over right. many thousands of years, but it's wanna... also empirical research done by the most prestigious research institutions in the world. But something you said that I want to get reaction from Dr. Lane Sebring is you said in your interview that it, it could set you up for a heart attack at a very early age. Dr. Sebring, well, what do you say to this? Well, I think what we have to understand is this is the uh, this is a diet we're all designed to eat. We're genetically been eating this way uh, for about two million years, and grains have just been added to the diet. Heart disease was virtually unknown in human beings before 1900. Uh, there was a pathologist who, who looked at a heart attack and never seen it before. He spent the rest of his working life and discovered four more. So it's it's a new phenomena, and it is not uh, a result of the paleo diet. So. We what is wrong with the beans? You hear a lot of vegetarians who get a lot of their protein from beans. You hear a lot of doctors saying switch from the white okay. rice to the brown rice. So now we're doing the brown now and you can't have that. Well, the brown rice is incredibly acidic and that part of it is very detrimental to the diet. But the, the grains have a lot of problems. When we added grains to the diet beginning 10,000 years ago, we lost six to seven inches in height. That's malnutrition. It's an archeologic fact that follows the introduction of grains into the diet all around the world. Uh, rice was what they chose in the Far East. Le Grains have lectins that bind up our, um, that make our platelets and our red cells more sticky, may causing clots. I, I have to give Deidre the last word. We only have 30 seconds okay. left. Deidre, I, I know you can't help but see the success of these people with their diets. They're losing weight and maintaining it, and a lot of them look great and say they never felt better. Okay, quick weight loss is not success. Long-term health and longevity is success. Right. Cleveland Clinic's the number one heart hospital in the United States for almost 20 years. It really contradicts, the research they published contradicts the paleo diet. Atkins himself had a heart attack in his 60s. Need I say more? Okay. <clears throat> well, we will, nobody can say any more right now. We're out of time. Deidre Earls, Dr. Layton Sebring, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. We're back.